Hello and welcome back. Hope you are doing well. If square root of 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 is equal to 125 raised to the power x, then we have to find the value of unknown variable x in this question. So let's get started and see its solution. It is given that square root of 5, square root of 5, square root of 5 is equal to 125 raised to the power x. We are going to take the square of this equation on both sides. So this square and the outermost root cancel out. We are left with 5 square root of 5. Square root of 5 is equal to 125. And these two powers are going to multiply. Because we are going to use a law of a power. Power of a power rule. That says if a raised to power m raised to the power n. Then we can multiply the powers m times n. So here we are going to multiply these two powers 125 raised to the power 2x. Once again we will take the square of this equation on both sides. So this is equal to 5 to the power 2 and this square and root cancel out times 5 times square root of 5 is equal to 125 raised to the power these two powers are going to multiply once again 4x this is equal to 5 to the power 2 is 25 times 5 is 125 square root of 5 is equal to 125 raised to the power 4x at this stage we are going to divide the uh, both sides by 125 so this and this cancel out square root of 5 is equal to here we are going to use another law of exponent which says if a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n then we can subtract the powers m minus n similarly 125 raised to power 4x minus 1. After taking square of this equation on both sides, this is equal to 5 and right hand side 125, 2 is going to multiply by 4x minus 1 which is equal to 125 raised to power 4 times 2 is 8, x minus 2 1 time is 2. 5 is equal to this 125 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 which is equal to 5 raised to power 3. So we are going to replace 125 by 5 raised to power 3 times 8x minus 2. In the next step we are going to multiply 5 is equal to 5 raised to power 8 times 3 is 24x minus 3 times 2 is 6. Now as bases are same so we can equate the powers. This left hand side 5 is basically 5 raised to the power 1 is equal to 5 raised to the power 24x minus 6. So we can write it as 24x minus 6 is equal to 1. We are going to add 6 on both sides. This is equal to 24x this 6 and 6 cancel out is equal to 7. Now we are going to divide both sides by 24. So this 24 and 24 cancel out. We are left with x is equal to 7 over 24. This is the final answer which is required in this question. But we are going to verify our answer that it is the correct answer or not. So let's verify our answer by putting the value of x in question. Let's verify. And the question is square root of 5, square root of 5, square root of 5 is equal to 125 raised to power x. And we know the value of x. Now we are going to put the value of x in this question. Left hand side 
will be written as it is and this 125 raised to power 7 over 24 we can write this as square root of 5 times square root of square root of 5 times square root of square root of square root 5 is equal to right hand side as it is we know the value of square root this is equal to 1 over 2 times 5 raised to power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 5 raised to power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is equal to 125 raised to power 7 over 24 now we are going to multiply the powers 5 raised to the power 1 over 2 as it is times 5 raised to the power 1 over 4 times 5 raised to the power 1 over 8 As bases are same, so we are going to add the parts. We are going to use another law of exponent. That law of exponent says, if a raised to power m times a raised to power n, then we can add these parts, m plus n. So, 5 raised to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 In the next step, we are going to take the LCM. LCM is 8. 2, 4 times is 8. 4, 1 times is 4. 4, 2 times 8. 2, 1 times is 2. Plus 1. 5 raised to the power. 4 plus 2, 6. Plus 1, 7 over 8 is equal to. We can write 125 as 5 raised to the power 3. Times. 7 over 24. Now this can be cancelled out. 3 1 time is 3 and 3 8 time is 24. Now we can see that 5 raised to power 7 over 8 is equal to 5 raised to power 7 over 8. It means left hand side is equal to right hand side. And it also means that the value which we got x is equal to 7 over 24 is the correct answer. I hope all the steps are clear. If not, feel free to ask to me in the comment box. Practice more and more to be perfect. Keep watching, keep practicing. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more informative videos. Take care. Bye-bye.